Alrighty, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I know I promised you last episode that I would be doing some uh, uh, redstone and an item sorting system, but that's not what we're going to do today. Today we're going to be taking a bit of a tour of the impact client for 2B2T on 1.13. I've been playing in it since uh, the start of uh, July, but uh, I've never really given you all too much of a tour of it for at least 1.13. So I thought I would do that and give you a little bit of review of how it functions and works. I've got the Optifine mod installed with it, so it runs a little bit better. As you can see in the beginning there, it was super laggy. It still is a bit super laggy. So uh, that's part of the reason why uh, 2B2T doesn't use it. But uh, we're just going to go through some of the things. <coughs> we have an aim bot, which I don't use. Anti bot, I'm in single player, so I don't use. Auto armor, uh, my armor's unbreakable, so I really don't use, but that's a useful tool. You can uh, auto replace, skills, elytra, you can do all kinds of things. Auto clicker, I don't really need it. Auto totem, I have it on, but I don't have a totem. I won't get a totem until at least. Uh, 1.14 when I can kill a uh, pillager patrol and get a totem of undying because I don't think I'm going to be finding a uh, woodland mansion anytime soon. Uh, auto weapon. Determine the best weapon to use. Uh, bow aim bot I don't use. I've got the auto, uh, not the auto aim, but the uh, trajectories on. <coughs> I could turn criticals on, but it really doesn't affect me. I don't use crystals because I don't have the ability to get crystals. Uh, I, I have no use for hitboxes. I have no use for hunt, nor kill aura. I don't have potions, so this isn't useful. Smooth aim isn't useful. I don't have any soups, so that's not useful. All right, let's take a look at the miscellaneous animations. <coughs> I can probably change some animations, but they aren't useful. Anti-aim isn't useful to me. Anti-desync isn't useful to me. Sound lag isn't really useful to me. Anti-vanish, auto-cheat, auto-disconnect, auto-reconnect, not useful. I'm not sure if the Discord integration is useful to me. I'm not sure changing the font is useful to me. I don't need the logout positions. I'm not even sure that works in 1.13. I don't need the friends. I don't need to. I don't need resource pack disabled. I don't need uh, elements disabled. Uh, oh, I could turn uh, sign visibility off. That might be useful, but not really useful. I don't need that. I don't need instant unpack. Render, anti-blind's not useful to me. I don't need breadcrumbs, anti-overlay, camera clip, capes. That's kind of cool, but I don't have any capes. Uh... I could probably turn charms off. That would probably save me some lag, but seeing them through walls is useful. Yeah, I'll probably turn that off. It's probably been causing me some lag. I could actually probably disable a few of these. Or at least re enable them. Uh, I don't need to change too much of my GUI. I don't need to change my crosshair. Enchantment colors might be useful. That That is something that probably should be useful to people. Is, you know, you can customize your, uh, the, uh, types of, uh, enchants 
what color the armor glows. ESP to reveal enemy locations is always useful. Let's see, what happens with HUD? Oh, that turns off the armor and coordinates. I wonder if I can just turn off the watermark. Oh, I can turn that off. Oh. Ah, I can turn coordinates off. Well, that's a useful speed, facing, angle, info. Hey, <laughs> info kind of useful besides, uh, Need tab GUI. Hunger and saturation is useful. Huh. Biome is useful. I don't know if I need that. Oh, I can disable the armor on the hotbar. But I like that. Oh, baritone. Now I don't need date and time stamp. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's used. But hey, I found <laughs> I found something useful. I I can affect how lighting works. I can make it super bright or super regular. That's useful. Name tags is always useful. Health is always useful for people. So you can see what everybody has. You can see their armor and rank, game mode. All that good stuff. You can change things that render to reduce lag. Oh, well, that's a radar. You know, it might be useful. Oh, wow. Search tool. I don't know how to use this. Storage ESP, you can see everything that's going on. You can highlight hoppers, shulker boxes, furnaces, anchor. you can literally highlight everything you want. That's uh, very useful. You can locate things easily. You can highlight passive uh, entities and it'll draw a tracer to them. <coughs> I would love to get it to be able to see uh, uh, villagers, but it doesn't. There's trajectories uh, thing I was talking about. That just does, let me see if five comes up. No, it doesn't. Okay. There, that's what trajectory is. I can make wireframe. I can see through blocks of walls if I wanted. Oh wow, x-ray works. I can see everything I want. Well, that's useful. Not right now, but it's useful.
exploit, anti-fire, anti-hunger. I don't know what frankly is. Ghost hand, reach blocks through walls, auto ignite, lag. New trunks doesn't work on 1.13. <clears throat> I can make changes to nether portals, movement, I can jump in the air if I want, anti-hazard, boat fly, that's useful to me, I haven't used the elytra yet, high jump, Jesus is useful, <clears throat> no push is useful, no slow is useful, uh, riding, control entities, you can change all this, I can add but that'll just add speed, but that'll just cause lag <laughs> and uh, rubber banding. Prevent, I can prevent myself from walking off ledges. I can go faster if I really wanted to. That'll just cause lag. I can climb up walls if I want. I can improve sprinting. I can step up taller blocks. Various train, I can adjust my velocity, yaw. I can build blocks around me, I can destroy blocks around me. If these are not used, I can control weather. <clears throat> I don't use the mini game because I don't need it. Uh, I have auto eat on. Uh, <clears throat> I could probably use auto farm, but I'm not gonna auto fish, auto mine. Oh, I could target blocks and this is probably all baritone stuff, which would be useful. Auto tool automatically selects the right tool for the job. Blink isn't useful to me. I don't need to automatically steal stuff from chess because I'm the only player in the world, a single player. I can adjust my interaction speed. I can adjust uh, free cam. I can make adjustments to <coughs> my inventory. I can use item saver. That, that would be kind of useful. I can change my interactions with liquids, falling. I can prevent rotation. I can automatically change hotbar slots. I can automatically respawn. Scaffold, that's a little bit difficult to work with. I don't know what that is. That has to do with lag. <clears throat> I can automatically sneak. That's a tour of the features. Now I'm going to go to sleep. And I'm going to wander around the world a little bit. I do have a few tasks I need to complete. Before 1.14. Which is to... Uh, well, I'm going completely the wrong way. Which is to... Uh, pillar up. And... Uh, Put some blocks in between the uh, villagers and the uh, zombie so that uh, they'll be ready for uh, 1.14. So I'm just going to handle that. I'm going to bring you all along with me. And you can see a little bit better how, uh, how 1.13 plays. I think I'm screwing up. I am screwing up. I need to shout out the bow. screwing that up just makes the video longer that's not useful to y'all 
<clears throat> I hope this works. <laughs> if not, that's another headache. Close enough. Alright. Now I'm going to have to block off the water. So that I can work around the villagers. I need to access the villagers is what I need to do. Let me change up. Alright. That's the wrong button, smart one. That is the wrong place. Thanks. Alright. I think it's right here. I think. Oh, it was close. What trade you got? No, uh, you want beef and chicken. <clears throat> All right. So we're gonna do this. Now I gotta figure out how to fix this up. I'll probably just go down. I wonder if I can get the stair to work the way I want it to. Yes, I can. So I'll just go down. I think. This has self touch actually. Actually, not dirt. Dirt's more abundant. Alright. Let's get our glass back. There. One down. One to go. Well, that was close to a lava bath. That would have been bad. Alright, I'm going to handle this, and I will bring you back in with some more shenanigans. Thank you. Alright, I have just finished uh, sorting the... Uh... Most of it. The... Uh... the iron farm but I'm not quite done yet I've still got to replace a single brick so you get to come in and see that so there's that I decided to uh, use dirt instead, so while I was doing the dirt sneak around, I was uh, able to uh, break the glass with my um, with my silk touch pick and sort that out so that's all done and the sun's about to set so we gotta go sleep again and uh, I'll give you a little bit of an update and a little bit more of a tour now uh, show you how things are going how 1.13 works for the impact client and I'll bring you back in 
All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. As you can see, I am quite far out in my world. I've been exploring a little bit, testing uh, how well uh, uh, Impact 1.13 is working. Well, Impact 4.9 on 1.13 is working. And it's functioning. It's taking a lot of hits. I mean, a lot of updates. That, what I mean is, uh... <coughs> block updates. I'm out here gonna gather up some, uh, melons. Uh, for... projects back at home in one dot. 14 when I update to 1.14. Uh, so I'm gathering up some melons and they didn't spawn until at least 1.7 in jungles. So I have to gather them. And it's been a great acid test. I'm having some weird sheer cliff issues in this part of the jungle. I don't know why. I might have... I might have had to... I might have had some uh, chunk updates. Oh, cocoa beans. Cocoa beans is nice. So, I might have to double look into uh, whether or not I have to uh, go back into my 1.12 world and solidify everything by visiting every chunk because there were some unpopulated chunks and if that's causing a problem then I'm gonna have to uh, look at my world in 1.12 visit every single chunk to make sure everything's solidified set in stone before updating and merging with uh, 1.13 so that I can fix those issues if that's what's causing the issues. But uh, I have gathered up enough melons for what I want. So I'm going to head back to the overworld, or the not the overworld, but the uh, the uh, spawn point and I'll end off this episode I'll see you in a few minutes thank you alright welcome back to Angel Wolf's journey Angel Wolf here I am almost home from my journey to uh, test the sluggishness of uh, 1.13 in the impact client and also for 2b2t and also uh, to gather up some melons for uh, my projects that I have planned at home for 1.14. I am almost back to spawn. Uh, if you liked what you see here, you can subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. Uh, you get access to my videos one day early, you uh, get to help me build and design things in my world, and you get to uh, a video credit, a credit at the end of every episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. In the next episode, we're going to be updating to 1.14, and we're finally going to get our iron farm working. And we're finally going to get hoppers and get everything we need to do. I've got some projects I need to do before then, which is to uh, update every chunk in my world, in my 1.12 world and merge it with this world so that I can have not to worry about any unpopulated chunks and sudden terrain generation where there shouldn't be any new terrain generation. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and send a friend request. Thank you.